What's up everybody, Gary Simon here. Today we got a fun one because I am introducing an upcoming YouTube channel where I teach guitar. Now most of you who watch this channel know that I built this studio here within the last year. It has a stage, it has DMX lighting, it has video projection, it has a lot of stuff and I did that because it's all leading up to this moment. In about two weeks or so, I'm going to be uploading the very first video. And in this channel, I want to document the progress of that business because there's an associated website i want to monetize it and we're going to get into the nuts and bolts of all of that stuff here going forward in this channel and it's just going to be one of the things that i end up covering so i want to show you what the first video looks like because it has something to do with this ridiculous helmet open strings and oftentimes we'll repeat those three notes for instance Here's an E minor chord played in the open position. If this is your first time trying to play a chord, your fingers will likely hurt. This is a normal part of the process. Keep playing the training wheels, no more diagrams. Now there's one awesome resource that maybe you've heard about and maybe you haven't, but if you haven't, it's called daily.dev. And essentially it is a free, 100% free browser extension that allows you to create a curated daily feed of content based on the things that interest you most. For instance, I like UI UX design. I like JavaScript. I like AI. So once I create this feed, I'm going to get news stories and articles that are up to date, that interest people most in those categories. It's so important to stay up to date with this type of tech because things move so fast. So definitely check out daily.dev for a bunch of awesome daily updated content on the things that matter to you most. So as you can see, it is quite unique. Um, each video, or at least the very first video, took a lot of prep work. I had to write the music. I had to play the music to make sure it was solidified in muscle memory. I had to create a video projection uh, screen in Premiere, and then I had to create a light show in software called SoundSwitch, and then I have to piece all of it together in Premiere and After Effects because there's a lot of effects as you saw. And so each video is gonna take quite a while. And the whole purpose here is to teach people in each lesson video a concept of guitar of some sort. And each video will also have a full performance like you saw a snippet of. And the idea here is at the end of the videos, the users or the viewers will be instructed to visit the associated website and they can sign up for a free account to download a backing track. And the backing track will be based on the performance and it will take off the guitar part that they're supposed to perform. So they practice, they upload it, and then eventually they can earn badges. We're not gonna la launch with that aspect just yet, but they'll be able to earn these badges. I'm gonna show you the prototype and the mock-up of the website that we're currently implementing. So over here, you can see some screens, and I literally knocked this out in about a day or two. And I'll be honest with you, when it comes to Figma and trying to get an MVP out, I do not mess with components. I don't mess with prototyping. I just get everything on the screen. I don't even mess with auto layout. That stuff slows me down if we're trying to get an MVP out. So there's no, you know, all this stuff is just, if I want to make a change here, I'm going to have to replicate it here. It's not a big deal though. For me, I just want to work as fast as possible. So this is the landing page, something like this with my <laughs> ridiculous self. And by the way, I'm not tied to this concept. If people say ditch the helmet, I will gladly ditch the helmet because playing the guitar with this helmet on is very hot and uncomfortable. I just kind of want to do something different. So the idea here is when they click uh, get started, they'll either join, you know, if they're not already logged in. And here is an example of the very first guitar challenge based on the first video, which is on open chords. All right. And each essentially each of these challenges, there would be badges that you can earn based on the skills. So for instance, here's the open chords badge. So this is a beginner level, level badge and each there'll be about three or four different levels. So 
playing open chords and a beginner aspect, maybe intermediate, advanced to pro. So I'll be able to do videos all on that. But there's so many more than just open chords, so many more techniques. And so here's some badges that I've created um, and there's gonna be many more. Uh, and these are very fun to create in Photoshop. Uh, here's an open strings one. You can see this one has, we have uh, like five XP. So a person, when they join, they'll be able to slowly accrue XP experience points uh, based on the badges that they earn. And so that's gamifying the experience, making it engaging and fun. Um, here's a timekeeper, like the ability to keep time well, um, vibrato, and of course, you know, these will get increasingly difficult um, as I create them. And so the idea is, is once they upload these in the future, I will have uh, a queue of guitar teachers and experienced guitar players who will be able to quickly listen to the uploaded audio of somebody you know, playing along with the backing track for that specific challenge and either award them the badge or not and then give feedback as well. And so do I make this a paid service? I don't know yet. Maybe not initially. We'll see. Um, but there's a lot of different ways to monetize this. And that is just one of the ways, like a monthly fee to get feedback from actual guitar teachers and then maybe also upsell one-on-one time uh, via Zoom where the teachers keep almost all the profits. So that would be a really cool way to monetize this type of business. Um, going back to the UI layouts, um, when you click on take challenge, or here's the challenges page, just listing one because that's all we have. And then when you click on an actual challenge, it's going to have this page where it tells you how many complete experience points you'll get based on badges. Um, and there's also going to be a YouTube embed right here so they can watch the video on the site. And then it's going to show all the associated badges with that particular challenge. Of course, I, I replicated this one, but this kind of shows... I, you know, if you earned a badge already, it'll show up here in this little area. Um, additionally, it'll show latest submissions from other users, uh, you know, guitar players who took part in that challenge, so you can listen to what other people did. Um, and if essentially, that is the concept for now. And you can see I did like a, a real quick mobile variation for the developer. Um, I actually have a partner. Now, a new partner, I haven't known this person for more than a week, um, Danielle uh, Estevez from, Daniel Estevez from Venezuela, that's correct. Um, and we are choosing Laravel and specifically what's called the tall stack. So I'll show you real quickly what that tall stack actually means in, for, in terms of the acronyms here. So um, the tall stack is simply Tailwind, Alpine JS, Laravel itself, and Livewire. And we already have the website MVP almost ready. It's about 80% there so far. Um, the login and registration system already done. And literally, we, start, we started working on this like six days ago. So you can really rapidly prototype with Laravel, which is so awesome. I used it in the past on my own site back in 2017 or 2016, where I built Corsetro.com. And I loved it. And for some reason, everybody started getting excited about JavaScript. So I kind of switched focus. I, but now I want to go back to Laravel as well and start relearning because obviously it's been some time since 2016, 2017. Um, but I know with absolute confidence, you know, Laravel is like the best platform almost for, for quickly and rapidly getting up, you know, a, a dynamic web app. And so that's why I'm excited that we're using this and we're almost ready to rock. So no pun intended. So that's the exciting thing that I wanted to share with everybody. Um, in order to monetize this, and when you're launching a, a YouTube channel, you do not want to upload with just uh, no audience. You know, your first video, you don't want to upload and just hope to God that, you know, YouTube algorithm picks it up or something. And you also don't want to just upload a video with no audience, but then just, you know, mention it to your family members or post it on Reddit or Hacker News and think that, you know, it, it's going to become successful. So what I decided to do, actually, hold on one second. I'm going to go over here and, and show you what I did. One second. I bought this guitar. As you can see, this guitar is freaking awesome. I bought it for 1100 US dollars, so it's not a cheapo. 
Um, brand new, these go for like 1500 and I bought it used from Reverb.com because I wanted to, like, whoever wins this because I'm going to do a giveaway. So I have contacts in a large guitar Discord server and I know the admin and we're gonna do a giveaway. And in the giveaway, all it's gonna require the users to do is to visit the website that I just showed you and create a free account. And this will be before I launch the first video. In doing so, I'm going to gain access to their emails. And once I have their emails, they are already eligible to win. And what essentially will happen is when my first YouTube video is ready to launch, I'm going to send out an email blast to all those people who entered for the giveaway and send them the link to the YouTube video. I am not going to require them to watch it. They can click delete if they want because that would be against the YouTube terms of service. But I think most people will willingly watch it because A, they're guitar players. B, I did something really cool for them by giving them the opportunity to win, you know, a $1,500 new guitar. And so I hope to be able to generate, you know, at least a couple hundred emails and that way I'm not uploading with crickets. So I'm really excited to show the progress of this. I, in, I will be uploading videos here. I think maybe one of my next videos, it'll just be showing you how I design one of those cool badges in Photoshop just for the fun of it. Um, but I will certainly share the results of the channel when I release the first video. I'm super excited because if you know anything about guitar and you follow YouTube guitarists, there's really not anything like this with this level of production value and just an interesting sort of way of trying to learn guitar in a very structured format. So I'm excited as heck to launch this. And one of the things, and I'm gonna conclude because I'm rambling, one of the things that you have to keep in mind when you have a big launch, and this could be on YouTube, it could be on any network, or it could be an app that you're working on, you have to take your emotions down because it can become so exciting, so exciting. We're gonna launch, I hope we're successful, you know, successful right out of the gate. But seldom is that true. Even though I put so much time and money that has led up to this point, I'm okay if it fails. Like if that video only gets a few hundred views and people give me bad feedback, okay, well, what can I do? Become discouraged and quit like your average non-entrepreneur would do or take that feedback, even if it's negative and not necessarily constructive, just take your emotions out of it and you adjust. So I'm in this for the long haul, regardless of whether or not the first video succeeds. Um, people might tell me this helmet is stupid. Some people think thinks it's cool. Some people think it is childish. We'll have to see. And so I'm really excited to upload that video coming here within about a week or two to show you, okay, this is how this particular video performed. All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that and I will see you very soon.